powerful blizzard plummels the town, preventing anyone from going outside. A roaring fire, a cup of hot chocolate, a book of ancient curses. This is perfect. What could go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Oh, nice. that's nice. What a good Maybe day. just nothing happens today. Seriously? <laughs> You're not going to do that switcheroo thing you do? Why would they do that? There's no point to do that at this point. Hey, I'm snowed in too. Take a day off. You deserve it. I do deserve it. The day passes uneventfully. The blizzard subsides. Tomorrow will be an ordinary day. <laughs> what a great day. I mean, it's a day where unfortunately we can't do things. But yeah, it is a day that's uh, just dead. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, uh, oh, more Baba stuff. I guess more Baba stuff, yeah. Um, and the mall's back. What do we, 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 we feel we should do? Um, oh, we should... What, what do you want to do? Rob, Rob, I've been picking a lot. You pick. <laughs> let's go and see what Baba Yaga's up to. Okay, let's... let's new yeah. Baba Yaga intrigues me. New, new Baba Yaga quest. Cthulhu descends to spend, decides to spend time with Baba Yaga. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Look how fast I'm going. Well, clearly the animators didn't want to spend time animating a chicken hut. Baba Yaga is poking her head out of the window as she is riding her hut around the area at surprisingly fast speeds. I don't even need Cluck Cluck's help now. I figured out an alternative touch-based method. I guess for a chicken-based propulsion system, it's okay. I mean, it works for an iPhone. Huh. If that's the way you want to be, then I challenge you to a race. Chicken Hut versus Cthulhu. I accept. Cthulhu always wins. See the tree on the hill over there? First one there wins. That tree? No, the one way back there. Oh, so you mean that tree? No, that's too far. This tree then? Yes, that's the one. Alright, don't cry too much when I beat you. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> the race is off with Baba Yaga in the lead, followed closely by Cthulhu. Oh, they, 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 they animated one frame at a time. That's great. This is kind of amazing. This is followed with Baba Yaga in the lead, followed by Cthulhu, which is followed by Baba Yaga in the lead, followed not so closely by Cthulhu. <sighs> Ugh. Slow down so I can win. I've kind of always pictured Cthulhu as a smoker. I don't know why. <laughs> no way. Chicken power triumphs again. I like how they hey. didn't have to animate the legs. <laughs> they just said, fuck it, exactly. Hey, why are you sitting down? This race was rigged. Clearly pitting an old man like me against a brand new house was an unfair contest. If you say so, boss. Hey, don't be like that. Here, have a trophy. Cthulhu receives a trophy with a chicken on. It says consolation <laughs> prize. Where did you get this? Custom made. I have it lying around just in case I get in a chicken contest. It happens more often than you think. Something in the trophy! Cthulhu got a freaky sword. This weapon for Cthulhu allows the terrify ability to be reused. Oh. It is now Christmas Eve the 31st. Okay, um... I haven't really done anything with Crystal. Um... Yeah, I should buff the whole party. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. do the Crystal line. Indeed. Cthulhu dispenses, decides to spend some time with Crystal. So, what's fun to do in this joint? 420 blaze it. Oh. Uh, I have just the place in mind! Cthulhu leads, or Crystal leads Cthulhu to a large park. There's a large outdoor ice skating rink filled with happy skaters. I cannot ice skate. <laughs> There's also a massive Christmas tree that's so tall the top can barely be seen. I don't think I've ever gone ice skating before. I just remember doing it like we had like uh, events and stuff in school. Where we'd like go to like ski resorts and stuff like for like just like a weekend and stuff as part mm -hmm. of the school and stuff. But then they would just like have us do outdoor activities, and it was exactly as bad as you think it was. <laughs> I love it here. Being able to control ice with a wave of my hand makes it easy to do well at ice skating. But besides that, it's so peaceful here. Sometimes I like to find a beach to sit on and just gaze up. Look at the star on the tree, and also look at the stars in the sky, although I think they're just planes. Cthulhu, do you remember your first Christmas? Uh, oh, we have an actual choice. Yes, I do. I remember my first Christmas like it was yesterday. A particularly eager cultist had brought me my first Christmas present. It was his little <laughs> sister, you see. Sure, she was sane at the time, but... Uh, few days of staring at me and reading the ancient tablets fixed that. He's been, he was text messaging her? 
That's what it looks like. It sure does. That's, oh, not, good. That's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> Watching the drool spill out of the corners of her mouth really helped me understand the joy of the season. That's horrifying. That's not understanding the joy of the season at all. You should have to work in retail. That's really how you'd experience the joy of the season. That's what he's been doing. I mean, that's mall. true, yeah. Maybe for you. For me, it did my cold heart good to see how far that poor wretch had fallen. I can see that I have a lot of work to do if I'm going to get you to understand the joy of Christmas. But I'm just the person for the job. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll make sure to have a strategy all planned out for maximum Christmas spirit. This is going to be so much fun. I can hardly wait. He seems very happy about it. On his way home, Cthulhu spots a dog chewing on a weird looking stick. A short tussle later, the dog is relieved of its chew toy. Cthulhu got a shield <laughs> once. He's not even gonna fucking throw it? That's so mean. This, he stole weapon, it. this weapon for Crystal boosts her defense. That's. <laughs> it is just a completely non fucking sequitur. <laughs> yep. That's, that's great. All right, uh, so where do we want to go this time then? Well, I guess we'll finish Crystal up here then. Oh yeah, I should. Yeah, let's finish Crystal like up. Like you and said, then... buff through Crystal. Yeah, this is good to do the party members at least. Mm -hmm. Cthulhu decides to spend more time with Crystal. Let's go get some ice cream. Cthulhu and Crystal go to an ice cream parlor. It's a cold day, so there aren't very many people there. It's a very curious ice cream parlor. I know, right? It's like a factory more than anything else. It looks like one. This is my favorite place for ice cream. The designs are ultra cute and everything tastes amazing. C Crystal's ice cream arrives. It's three scoops of vanilla set up like a snowman. She picked vanilla, the most bland flavor. <laughs> that sounds on character. Cthulhu's ice cream is dressed up to look like a penguin. That's fucked. Bon appetit! Why is he eating Danny DeVito ice cream? That's so weird. Huh. The ice cream is eaten in silence. She didn't necessarily say Mr. Penguin. That's fair. <laughs> Not bad, but tormented souls are still the tastiest. Every Christmas day, my granddad would take me here to celebrate a successful night of work. He'd always order the pistachio ice cream in the shape of a Christmas tree. He'd even do a bit of magic to make the star on top twinkle. Just the thought that I might never see him again makes me feel... No, I can't even think about that. It's too awful. Crystal looked like she's about to cry, so naturally Cthulhu is the person <laughs> who's going to stop that, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so clearly there's some kind of choice-based dating sims uh, sure, going on this th th time. There certainly is, at least with her. All right, we need to try and win it. Try to comfort her. Uh, yes. okay, it's cat. going to go well. <laughs> yes. Cthulhu is on the case. Santa is definitely getting rescued, and if you're lucky, he won't even be hideously maimed by then. That's an option? I didn't realize that was an option. Please tell me that's not an option. <laughs> Wait, does she want her to be beaten up? No, 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 no. Him ending up hideously maimed isn't oh, an option. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. is an option. Oh, uh, that's what she's packing, okay. It's highly unlikely. 20% chance, 30% chance top. Shouldn't worry about it one bit. I think talking to you is a good for my mental stability. Do you think? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on the same page as these <laughs> fucking writers. As a bonus for being the 100th customer of the day, the ice cream shop gives Cthulhu a special prize. Cthulhu got a Mystic Close, a successor for Crystal Booster stats. It is now Christmas Eve the 33rd. Maybe the trick to winning this was to choose all the wrong answers. I mean, could be, yeah. I mean, I'd, it'd certainly be funnier. <laughs> Cthulhu descends to spend some time with Crystal. Let's go back to the park! Cthulhu and Crystal return to the park with a giant Christmas tree. Something feels... off. Look over there! The star at the top of the Christmas tree has fallen off! I was looking at that and I was like, Is that like a starfish? Are we like at a fucking <laughs> beach? And I was like, oh no, no, it's 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 a thing. <laughs> it's just lying over there! Surely there must be something we can do! But the tree is so tall! This is nothing. Watch this. Cthulhu picks up the large ornamental star, flies to the top of the Christmas tree, and places it carefully back on the top. When can he fly, canonically? He has wings. I mean, he does, but I thought his powers got Oh, stopped. that's right, yeah. Yeah. You can fly? These wings aren't just for show. I'm, I'm just dead on with these writers. <laughs> I, I, guess we, I guess we have a similar writer's eye. <laughs> then why have we been walking everywhere? Flying would destroy the delicate, crafted level designs of the dungeons. Makes sense. You heard the narrator. 
maybe in the 3D remake. There you go. <laughs> I've always wanted to fly. Come on, pick me up. I don't <laughs> want to. Well, that's the easy way to not have to do it. Please, pretty please. Not happening. Do it, do it, do it. I'm leaving. I'll be your friend. Cthulhu tries to run away, but all the escape routes are blocked. Maybe if I fly away. Jumping attack! You're throwing off my balance. Get off. Cthulhu <laughs> flies directly into the Christmas tree, knocking off several ornaments, including the star at the top. One of the ornaments that fell from the tree is actually a useful item. Cthulhu got a hyperizer. The animal ensure hyper mode on the next turn for one ally. Ouch, 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 ouch. Serves you right for trying to jump on me. All our hard work ruined. Say, do you think you can fly up there again and fix the star? Not a chance. It is now Christmas Eve the 34th. Hot damn. Brr, it's so cold. So much snow. This is nothing. Why, when I was a young gun, I was running through sky-high snow, barefooted both ways. In the snow. Both ways. Keep your glory day stories to yourself, old man. It's kind of like the 15 miles in the snow and stuff. And yeah, Uphill that, that, both that ways. bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that our parents used to do over and over again, which I think they just ripped off from Rugrats. <laughs> Probably. It's pretty fair. Bastards. It's not definite, but. Do you have a lead on the next League of Christmas Evil member? Just a hunch. All snowstorms that affect Christmas land originate from the Christmas caves in the far north. If the Christmas caves are generating an abnormally large number of snowstorms, that can indicate something's amiss there. Weather. We're basing our next dungeon choice on the weather? That's what Persona 4 was, basically. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, it wasn't. It was, but, I mean, it basically kind of was, because, like, only when it was raining did shit happen. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> Gee, thanks, narrator, for making me look really dumb. That was sarcasm. We're going to a really cold place, Cluck Cluck. Are you going to be warm enough? Hoot hoot! <laughs> you heard the chicken. Let's go! <laughs> they seem to have recovered from their horrific storyline. Yeah, they they seem fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, crazy cold. Huddle in the corner and wish for death levels of cold. An ordinary party would be dead at this point. We're from Chicago. We should be fine. Yeah. Um, but this is no ordinary party. You got that right. To the great Cthulhu, this is nothing. I laugh at such a feeble attempt at death by freezing. I'm the snowman. The cold never. <laughs> we can't legally say that. <laughs> Don't you dare finish that sentence. Affects my core temperature, well-being at all. Jeez, what did you think I was going to say? <laughs> I'm not bothered by the cold. These clothes may look all ragged and hobo-esque, but they're actually quite warm. And I have the power of the chicken, so I'm fine. I didn't know chickens were immune to freezing temperatures. Wait a second. You're right. Chickens freeze in the cold. What was I thinking? <laughs> sorry, 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 Cluck Cluck, I'll whip up a heat spell for you right now. Cluck Cluck quietly falls. <laughs> sure, that's helpful. Smells like chicken. It always does. Maybe I overdid it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who could live in such a freezing cold place? Besides me, of course. I have a guess. The giant is... Ryla? What the f Okay. Has no. always been a fan of snow filled caves. Doesn't she eat naughty kids? It's a good thing we don't have any of those with us, oh. <laughs> don't look at me! Yes, I may have tried to steal presents from orphans once or twice, but does that make me naughty? Yes! Yes, it does! But that's in the past. Now I'm a crusading adventurer of justice on a quest to rescue the big guy himself. So you can steal Christmas presents directly from the source. Like a crack addict, okay. <laughs> you can't prove that. That's literally what you told us when you joined our party. Past Baba Yaga is a tricky one. You can't always trust what she says. You're not gonna let her eat me, right? Of course. Oh, it's you. <laughs> of course not. It's far too late in the game to replace a party member. Yeah, I mean, what is this, Legend of Dragoon? Oh, God. The programmers really don't want to go to all that bother making a new character that most players will never see. Exactly. I've heard that 99% of all players don't even make it past the tutorial. 99%. I openly try to skip the tutorial, so I don't <laughs> even get through that part. That can't possibly be right. If you started in higher quality games, players would play past the tutorial. <laughs> Burn. Never. 
focus people kid eating monster kid right here as i was saying you have nothing to fear now let's go fight an old woman all right let's go find some pillows that's the easiest way to take out an old woman i think right don't smother don't, that, that might actually not make it into the episode i feel like that might be a smothering old people that's a very uh shakespearean of you i i feel like it, it's it's most i don't know about shakespearean shakespeare would use yeah, poison othello no, in Othello, you smother your... It's been a while since I've, I've read Othello, so I... Look, yeah. Smother your darlings. That's how that quote goes. Oh, I mean, in fairness, I also was not interested in it in high school either, so that's the other problem. I mean, that's understandable. Yeah, the, 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 there's a combination of two problems. One is, is that I want to play video games in school, and two, uh, yeah. Uh, I couldn't really decipher the uh, the language too much of uh, Shakespeare's, as it were. Yeah, honestly, none of that stuff's really worth reading. It's much better to, I mean, I mean, I understand. Read, I understand the core concepts of what they were going for. Just like there's not, uh, I, I'm sure as I'm saying this right now, uh, there's definitely, uh, I'm certain that there's definitely like somebody who's uh, sitting backwards in a chair with a guitar and it's like, hey kids, how would you like to hear about how Shakespeare is cool? I'm sure there's absolutely a teacher who's a doing that. I, I, I would be very surprised if there isn't. I'll be brutally honest. It's best honest. to just watch the plays. Reading them is silly. I, I remember the they showed is... us the uh, the Hamlet version with Patrick Stewart. In I mean, that's well. good. That was, that was Any other ones with Patrick Stewart is the route to go. We yeah. saw that one too. Yeah, that, that was good. We were in, we were in the same class, but I think you guys were in a session later when they did that. I think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Although we did have English together one year. <laughs> Oh yeah, was that only freshman year? I think it was sophomore year. Oh. I, I, I remember you and I getting teamed up, and that's 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 my origin story of why we're friends. I do remember. <laughs> I heard the origin story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, 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 I, you know, I, I'm I'm not saying it's like you know Batman and Robin esque uh, <laughs> uh, origin story. First of all, which one of us would be Batman? It can't be me because I like going down. So I mean, you know. We've talked Batman. about that one before, too. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Batman can't go down according to DC because it would hurt toy sales. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's just understandable. Well, because it's in... We, we, talk, we Going down this on too. who? On uh, Catwoman. It, it was oh, for the right. Harley Quinn cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we've actually talked about that on stream. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> yeah. Poor Batman. Indeed. I mean... Batman is fine. Catwoman. Catwoman is the one you should be concerned about. Cat Cat Catwoman's the one who doesn't get pleasured. Uh, they had a good run. I mean, did they though? Probably. I I don't, I don't even know. I've never really followed the old Batman mega storyline. I I, cer I certainly haven't either. I like the Arkham games, so the Arkham games are fun. Poor DC. Yeah, they really tried to rush a cinematic universe together, but uh, didn't want to do any of the work to like build into it. <laughs> I probably need to kill the one that's healing them. I was going to say, son of a bitch, they're healing. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have... I, it just, I feel like I never have any power moves when I need power moves. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah that, 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 that is unfortunately the bummer of the randomness of the system a little bit. Alright, well I've killed him so now I can focus on the, on the one that's doing all that stuff here. The bug? Yeah, the, the healing bug. Which I'm sure probably makes sense in some sort of Christmas lore. That was like a bug who saved Christmas or something. Surprisingly roach difficult mage. to kill. <laughs> okay. Just says it's a mage that's also a roach. I mean, that's fair. It makes sense, but it's frustrating. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it, it, yeah, I, I don't know. It kind of feels like there's a difficulty spike when it comes to the bosses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's how it should be. I mean, that, that is good game design. <laughs> it does make sense to do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Actually have a little bit more of a challenge when the bosses roll in. Indeed. You shouldn't have skipped all the extra fights. I only skipped like a couple fights. I guess we were wandering around for a while. I don't know how many were left. Yeah, well, there were, there were like nine fights left, but that would have been that would have healed us up one level. That would have brought us up one level, maybe. 
But I mean, if you don't do the fights, like, then you get more XP doing other stuff then. I mean, that's how it should work anyway. I mean, I, c I could be wrong on that. God, I have no... I just have no attacks, and that, that freaking bugs me here. Okay, there we go. I, obviously, everything else is helpful, but I don't want to keep switching up attacks every time I go to a boss fight. Yeah, oh, I have yeah. an elixir, so I have to save that for the final boss fight. That's what you it know looked how like. That it works. said it like heals a lot of HP or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I mean, you gotta you gotta save that for the final boss, and then you know I don't know if you can even use it then because I mean you know you might need it for like a super boss at the end. Like I mean, that's like, basically how I play JRPGs. And that's absolutely how I play JRPGs. I just horse shit. <laughs> We're going to need to bring that up during Final Fantasy Thirteen. We absolutely are, and we have to get back into playing that, too. <laughs> uh, well, we have not played it according to the channel yet, but uh, we are working on Final Fantasy Thirteen. Uh, exactly. Whenever we can get a good batch of episodes done, that's when I'll start showing it out there. But, uh, yeah, we've been working on it. Uh, I had such a fun time that I was craving Denny's afterwards, so that, that was fun on the playthrough <laughs> of... Uh, at a certain point, it's just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to go to Denny's. <laughs> and I kind of had a mental breakdown about that. <laughs> at Denny's. Yeah, also at Denny's. That was a very weird experience we had at Denny's. <laughs> it was an odd place. The yeah. uh, people near us were talking about interesting things. Yeah, and they sat us, despite there being only two people in the restaurant, they sat us right next to them. <laughs> uh, despite the entire restaurant presumably being open. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. Let's uh, keep everybody in one spot, you know. Did I share my IHOP story on here or no? What's the IHOP story? Oh, j just you know, having divorced parents. It's just like you know, uh, it was certainly for a while. Just like my my dad works retail, so he's always like been super depressed during like the Christmas season and stuff. And certainly no more so than when he was depressed. And I just remember spending a lot of holidays at IHOP where he was, uh, where, you know, it wasn't a, he didn't have to cook anything or prepare anything. And I just, <laughs> oh God. I just remember is either Thanksgiving or Christmas. It makes the most sense for it to be Christmas just based on the time. And I just remember there were four or five like mall Santas in a booth there. And I don't think IHOP serves alcohol, but they definitely smelled of alcohol. <laughs> And I had to have been like 11 or 12 at the time. And certainly by that point, I realized Santa wasn't real. But certainly, uh, if I didn't, I definitely knew that by the time that <laughs> I left the restaurant that day. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. Five drunk mall Santas at IHOP. That I, is it's, amazing. It's, like, it's not like we were even traveling anywhere. We just that, That's just what my dad did. He just didn't want to cook anytime. So it's <laughs> like... Yeah, that was the perfect way to just do that. Is just yeah, just bring us to IHOP on Christmas Day. <laughs> but then we 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 would go do movies and stuff afterwards. So it's not like it wasn't. It's not like we didn't have fun or anything. Final blow. Uh, uh interesting. Does this kill me? Times five damage if desperate. I don't know. Maybe what Maybe it's more damage if you're almost dead. Okay, maybe that maybe that's the answer. I was gonna say like, did it kill me if I use it? <laughs> Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. These, these, uh, I will say the enemies. Jimbo is shedding cool. one tear right now. How so? At your Christmas of child, your, your Christmas of uh, your childhood of Christmas past. Well, my my childhood of Christmas past and also my Christmas past of present future is not great either because <laughs> I have to go to Florida this year. So when all these episodes are out, I'll be in Florida. So that's that's something I have to look forward to. I said I'm going to go to the most happy place on Earth uh, when I'm down in Florida. It's not the one you're thinking of. It's Fuddruckers. <laughs> uh, because all the Fuddruckers up here are closed. And I, I, have a, I have a special relationship with Fuddruckers just because uh, it, it, was where, it was where my babysitter brought us every Tuesday for Kids Eat Free Day when my parents were doing choir and stuff and pretending that they loved each other. It's uh, it's it is where I went during college and stuff. It was where I. Well, oh, wait, what was that you just picked up? Sorry, you just picked up something. I completely missed what I picked up. Some... It, it said a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, I should look. Well, I can't really even tell what I would have picked up. It was like insanely something something. Uh, I should have to. I have to equip items too. That's the other thing. Oh yeah, the hyperizer. Oh, can I not? 
equip items. I can only equip four weapons. Oh slots man, four. I wonder if you have to like unlock the other slots. Maybe I might have to do that. Let's see. So high pressure shield, shield breaker. breaker. Okay, so now those were those. Um, no, uh, I'm, I'm fine with I'm fine with the item. items we have currently. <gasps> Maybe it was an equip item that increased. Yeah, you no, know, the, the equip uh, items are equip equipments. You're meaning? Oh, equipments. Um, I should also equip more powerful shit too. The freaky soul. Let's use the uh, freaky sword there. Let's get freaky with Damn, it. Damn! Look how much more powerful this stuff is. Well, the, the, unfortunately, the stuff I have is, is powerful, too. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. I should also save, too, in case you run to a glitch where I glitch into a tree again. Oh, God. Because oh, that absolutely God. happened. Uh, Plus 100 max HP. Yeah, let's keep the healer alive. <laughs> that's probably a good rule of thumb. I don't know what we got. And that's on me for clicking through it, I suppose. But, uh... I don't know. But, um... Could have been anything. And candy whip. That's great. Okay. Oh, I mean, we've we equipped everything we've got here. I have no idea. Oh, we have a party one. chat, too. That was the other thing. Oh, fucking party chat. Yeah. With how cold it is in here, I don't think my ice magic will be very effective in combat. Not to worry. We just need to insanify everything, and their elemental resistance will swap. Is that true? I don't know. Son of a bitch, is that true? Yeah, that, but, but have we, we been playing this game wrong? We, I mean, we certainly have, but <laughs> I mean, I, th this is not a game where I'm going to get lost in the gameplay loop. <laughs> but isn't it cruel to strip their sanity away from them? Not any crueler than destroying them, which is what we'll be doing afterwards anyways. He's got you there. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's all there is. Unless there's... A, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, dear. Uh, fuck my life. Okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna <laughs> stop this and finish this up next week. Okay. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, no, that's rough. Well, we're, we, we have the record, so I'll get us back to where we were, and then, yeah. Oh, damn. I mean, it's fine. We we, we, get, we can finish this up next time we do You're going to have to fight Bell again. It's fine. I know what to do now, so it won't be a pain in the ass. That's, yeah, that's only true. like an hour of gameplay. It's not a big deal. But I don't want to do it now. Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Uh, Let's do some Kirby golf to break our... Okay. To, to, <laughs> to, not, to, to not make this a waste. <laughs>